Welcome to Tombstone, Arizona, a town shrouded in legends and haunted by the echoes of the Old West. Known as the most haunted town of the Old West, Tombstone holds a prominent place in American history and is infamous for the gunfight that took place at the OK Corral. In this video, we delve into the macabre stories of spirits that still roam the streets, reliving the ghostly presence that exists in this iconic town. Join us as we uncover the mysteries of Tombstone's haunted history. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting videos. Tombstone Streets According to historical accounts, the streets of Tombstone are believed to bear the presence of numerous lingering spirits. One of these spirits is believed to be that of Marshal Fred White, who died when he was accidentally shot by Curly Bill Brocious, a member of the Cowboys, on October 28, 1880. As the first marshal of Tombstone, White earned the respect of the Clanton gang and in fact successfully captured several members of the gang. Curly Bill rarely had any trouble with White's arrests. At dawn on October 28, while Curly Bill and some of his accomplices were engaged in a reckless gunfight, White intervened to disarm one of the gunmen. Unfortunately, a shot was accidentally fired, hitting White in the body. Despite receiving treatment soon after, White tragically passed away from his injuries two days later. Today, it is rumored that his soul still lingers on the street where the Birdcage Theater was once located, built a year later. This vacant lot now occupies the filming location and historical research. According to eyewitness accounts, there have been many sightings of a ghostly cowboy wearing a floating black cape. People are often observed walking across the street near the site where Virgil Earp was ambushed and shot in the arm, leaving him permanently disabled. Oddly enough, the spirit never crossed the street, leading many to speculate that it could be the ghost of Virgil Earp himself. In another setting, a ghostly figure wearing a long white dress was seen along Tombstone Road. A popular legend holds that the ethereal presence belongs to a grieving mother who had lost her child to yellow fever in the 1880s and had taken her own life. Another story claims that she was a brothel owner who was hanged and now haunts the streets in search of her executioners. It's important to note that lawlessness was not the only cause of death in Tombstone's early life. The town was twice ravaged by terrible fires, first in June 1881, then in May 1882. These fires engulfed key commercial areas, claiming the lives of nearly 50 people in flames that consumed crowded pubs and brothels. It is said that these souls being burned also made that presence more tragic. Furthermore, some individuals have reported cases of smelling unexplained smoke and burning materials, recalling memories of those tragic fires. The OK Corral The most famous site in Tombstone, known as the OK Corral, witnessed the Old West's most iconic gunfight. Described in many Western films and books, this confrontation catapulted Wyatt Earp to legend and brought fame to the town of Tombstone, Arizona. As tensions escalated between the Earps and the Cowboys, Marshal Virgil Earp decided to disarm a man on de October 26, 1881. This action resulted in a brief 30-second shootout in the deaths of Frank and Tom McLaurie as well as Billy Clanton. Among the Cowboys participating in the gunfight were Ike Clanton and Billy Claiborne. In the Earp group, which includes brothers Virgil, Wyatt, and Morgan, along with Doc Holliday, also participate in the gunfight. It is believed that the soul of the Cowboys has stayed with the OK Corral for many years. Witnesses have reported glimpses of fading silhouettes in cowboy attire, often depicted with guns drawn, seemingly locked in an eternal battle with the Earps. Others have attested to seeing cowboy spirits in different areas of the corral. Boot Hill Graveyard Located nearby the Boot Hill Graveyard, whose name refers to the number of its inhabitants who died wearing boots, the implication being that they died violently, such as in gunfights or hanging, providing a glimpse into the illegal past of Tombstone. Primarily operating from 1878 to 1884, this burial ground was originally known as Gravestone Cemetery. It is the final resting place of various individuals, including those killed in the infamous OK Corral gunfight. Marshal Fred White, 
who became a victim of Curly Bill Brocious. Tragically, a man named George Johnson was mistakenly hanged, adding another unfortunate soul to the list. Additionally, five individuals faced the gallows for their involvement in the infamous Bisbee Massacre murder. Charlie Storms, who was killed by Luke Short, also found his eternal resting place here, along with many others, including miners, outlaws, lawmen, and prostitutes. Regrettably, many of these buried individuals remain unnamed. Over time, the age-old cemetery succumbs to oblivion, with its weathered wooden tombstones crumbling and poachers stealing souvenirs. Notably, the name Boot Hill Graveyard became famous during the town's earliest El Dorado days, circa 1929. However, the cemetery continued to decline until restoration efforts began in the 1940s. Today, it is a favored attraction in Tombstone, attracting many tourists. According to local legend, this place appeared m in many strange phenomena. Visitors frequently recount witnessing peculiar lights and hearing unidentifiable sounds emanating from the age-old graveyard. There have been many reports of ghostly apparitions, with many instances of their purported appearances being recorded in photographs. Some even claim to have witnessed the resurrection of Billy Clanton, one of the casualties in the OK Corral gunfight, who is said to have come out of his grave before making his way back to the road that leads back to Tombstone. Birdcage Theater The Birdcage Theater, one of the oldest original structures in Tombstone, is a remarkable testament to the town's vibrant past. Famous for its haunting reputation, this facility is said to be home of up to 28 spirits. Its name derives from the 14 small cribs hanging from the ceiling, once the workplace of daring ladies dressed up as songbirds. Opened in 1881, the theater quickly gained a reputation as the noisiest establishment in the town. Its wild and evil reputation was even recorded by the far-reaching New York Times, which described it as, The Birdcage Theater is the wildest, wickedest night spot between Basin Street and the Barbary Coast. From 1881 to 1889, the Birdcage Theater operated non-stop, providing a place for gambling, drinking, and various vices to countless patrons. Within its walls, 28 lives were tragically cut short, as evidenced by the presence of 140 bullet holes that remain a witness to the tumultuous past. Since 1934, the Hunley family has owned and operated the theater, turning it into a museum. The space retains its original grandeur, boasting luxurious gilded cages, meticulously hand-painted stages, and authentic grand pianos. Today, visitors can step onto the very floors that were once walked on by iconic figures like Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, and Johnny Ringo, offering a unique opportunity to step back in time inside this historic building. Apparently, echoes of bygone legends still haunt this historic old saloon, as both staff and guests have recounted sightings of ghosts in 19th century attire. Other paranormal events include ethereal echoes of hoarse laughter and melodious melodies emanating from the theater doors during the nocturnal hours. Some people have testified that they have heard, faintly, the melodious voice of a woman accompanied by the eerie sounds of the museum bar, mysteriously playing ancient tunes. Distinctive sounds emanating from the main floor balcony along with cigar smoke mixed with the scent of whiskey have also been reported. During closing hours, employees claim to have recognized the clinking of cups and the shuffle of cards, evoking the presence of ghosts. Reports of the haunting date back to 1921, coinciding with the construction of a neighboring school across the street. Pupils of the school began relaying tales of laughter and music emanating from the vacant edifice, along with the unmistakable smell of cigar smoke. Another special incident revolves around the Wyatt Earp statue, which is perched atop one of the cots overlooking the theater. Initially, the statue was repeatedly discovered with Wyatt's hat spilled and lying on the floor below. This happened over and over again for many months. On one special occasion, staff members arrived to find the statue turned around, 
facing away from normal view. Later, a local historian revealed that Wyatt Earp's statue had been mistakenly placed in the crib commonly associated with the Clanton family. After being moved to the crib that Wyatt himself frequented, the inexplicable hat throwing ceased altogether. In another incident, an extremely valuable vintage poker chip, which had been missing for years, suddenly reappeared on the poker table. After its discovery, immediate measures were taken to protect it by placing it in a locked safe until historians could verify its authenticity. However, when historians arrived, they regretfully revealed that the chip had once again inexplicably disappeared. Birdcage Theater was featured in the paranormal investigation shows Ghost Hunters in 2006, Ghost Adventures in 2009 and 2015, Ghost Labs in 2009, and Fact or Faked Paranormal Files in 2011. Theater was featured in the film Tombstone, a 1993 American Western film which follows the lives of Wyatt Earp, Virgil Earp, Morgan Earp, and Doc Holliday. Big Nose Kate's Saloon Originally established as the luxurious Grand Hotel in September of 1880, the saloon has since become widely known, claimed to be one of the state's most prominent accommodations. The hotel exudes luxury with lavish interiors, plush carpets, and walls decorated with exquisite oil paintings. Offering 16 tastefully furnished bedrooms, each with a delightful view, decorated with solid walnut furniture and fully equipped. The grand foyer is resplendent with the glow of three graceful chandeliers complementing the sumptuous furnishings that luxuriate their surroundings. In addition, the kitchen is fully equipped with modern amenities such as hot and cold water and modern appliances. Beginning with a unique invite-only ball on September 9, 1880, the hotel opened in grand style. During its early years, the hotel regularly welcomed notable figures, including respected residents of Tombstone, such as Wyatt and Virgil Earp, Doc Holliday, and the Clanton Gang. Notably, the Clanton Gang, consisting of Ike Clanton and the McLaury brothers, registered for residency on the eve of the infamous O.K. Corral gunfight. Adding intrigue, the hotel's golden age is brought to life by the presence of a fascinating individual known as Swamper. Hired as a janitor and running errands, Swamper was highly regarded for his integrity, which earned him accommodation as part of his remuneration. His modest room, nestled in a dark corner of the basement, served not only as a refuge for many of the hotel's patrons, but also as his private gateway to the nearby network of mines. Tucked beneath the streets of Tombstone, the basement is close to the intricate network of mining tunnels crisscrossing beneath the town. Spending his spare time digging an entrance from his compound, Swamper's efforts eventually succeeded in completing a tunnel that linked to nearby mines. Once his secret passage is completed, he can take valuable silver nuggets from the rich circuit. The specifics regarding him after amassing his hoard of silver remain a mystery. The Grand Hotel's opulent existence was abruptly cut short by the devastating fire that devastated it on May 25, 1882. Above ground, only seven elegant domes remain intact, along with the floor on the main floor. The rest of the building succumbed to the flames, collapsing into the deep basement. Today, the building is home to Big Nose Kate's Saloon, which has undergone several modifications since the fateful fire and subsequent reconstruction. The Birdcage Theater, now converted into a museum, has the only remaining long bar where iconic figures such as Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, and the Clantons used to hang out. According to legend, it is said that Swamper hid his silver somewhere in the building and the spirit would return to protect it. Additionally, the cowboy ghosts have been observed at the bar, standing in the doorway, and, as one account recounts, even causing beer crates to tip over in the basement. Could these ghosts be our old acquaintances? Holiday, or Earps, perhaps. Other witnesses testified that they heard ghostly voices singing and conversing in empty rooms, recounting incidents where objects fell to the floor inexplicably, doors open and closed as if controlled by invisible hands, 
Lights turn on and off without explanation, and even silverware flies off the table. The mannequins placed on the simulated balcony appear to have been displaced, sometimes even falling over the edge of the balcony. Strange whispers come from deep in the basement when no one was there, while certain areas of the pub experienced sudden drops in temperature and chilly winds. Strangely distorted figures sometimes appear in photos accompanied by various camera malfunctions. There's a story that revolves around the owner of the building and a few employees who ventured into the ancient tunnel of Swamper. To their surprise, the tunnel still led to the old shafts of the Tough Nut Mine. When they returned to the basement, they were startled by a loud groan and heavy footstep descending the stairs leading to the street. Convinced that someone had entered the building, they quickly exited the tunnel and thoroughly searched the facility, only to discover that the building was empty and the doors were still securely locked. Perhaps Swamper was afraid they would find his silver? Other strange incidents also occurred on the stairs leading down to the basement, including an incident where female employees felt as if they were being pushed off the bottom steps. Regardless, don't let these spooky encounters stop you as the atmosphere and food at Big Kate's Saloon is truly special and a must-visit in Tombstone. There are still more hauntings in Tombstone, including a ghostly presence said to reside in Room 119 at the historic Tombstone Hotel. It is said that a man took his own life in that room, and now guests report hearing eerie voices and seeing objects move inexplicably. Near the old Wells Fargo Bank building, a specter in a long robe was seen wandering the stairs, while others glimpsed the silhouettes of dusty cowboys. Before the reconstruction of CS Fly Studio, people said they smelled a mysterious perfume. At the remodeled Crystal Palace Saloon, many visitors report seeing the ghost of Kate Bignose, a prominent figure during her time at Tombstone, who continues to linger. Today's employees and customers report inexplicable movement of objects, lights turning on and off automatically, and gambling wheels mysteriously spinning. According to reports, Kate was not alone in the facility, as other witnesses had observed ghostly cowboys at bars and pub walks. Tombstone holds many other fascinating paranormal stories, such as the mysterious phenomena surrounding Nellie Cashman's restaurant, Buford House, and Shifflin Hall. These enduring mysteries, forever etched in the annals of the Old West, continue to evade explanation, shrouded in the mystery of history. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.